Comic Con 2022 just to happen over the last couple of days, and Marvel revealed a lot of new things for their coming saga and also the animated side of things. Now, this video was gonna be everything that Marvel and DC announced, but DC just didn't announce really anything. There was two trailers, one for Black Adam and one for Shazam Fury of the Gods, and they announced a couple animated movies, including Justice League War World, Legion of Superheroes, uh, RWBY slash Justice League, and Batman the Doom that came to Gotham, and that's it. That's everything that DC announced. Meanwhile, I announced a whole slate of Phase 5 and Phase 6 movies, as well as a couple of animated TV shows that will be coming to Disney+. Plus. And in this video, I'll be going over every single one of those things announced at Comic-Con. Really just Marvel, though, because DC, again, didn't really do anything. So first of all is Spider-Man Freshman Year, a Disney Plus animated show that was supposed to take place in the MCU, showcasing the origin story of Spider-Man the half a year or so from when he got bit by the spider, leading up to Captain America Civil War. But everything that we were shown at Comic-Con points to the contrary, as first of all we see that Peter will have various suits during this uh, TV show, including a completely different homemade suit, a future foundation looking suit, a wrestler suit, which is probably the first thing he's going to wear, a suit that looks like the Beatles and a suit that looks like some sort of Green Knight, which I don't really recognize, as well as just the regular Spider-Man suit. The cast of characters that are confirmed for the show includes Aunt May, Harry Osborn, Norman Osborn, and Peter's best friend, Nico Minoru. So the whole cast of characters from the high school will be completely different. I mean, no Ned Leeds, no MJ, no Liz Allen, as far as we can tell. We also know that Daredevil and Doctor Strange will be appearing. The former is something that maybe might have happened during the half a year between when he got bitten by the spider and the Civil War, as they are both in New York, they were both active at the same time, so maybe they teamed up. He will also be voiced by Charlie Cox, so that is cool, but something that definitely did not happen is him teaming up with Doctor Strange, which will be happening in this show. We also know that a couple villains that definitely Spider-Man did not face off against before Civil War will be appearing, including Norman Osborn, Doctor Octopus, the Scorpion, Rhino, Chameleon, and a couple others that maybe that might have happened, like Tarantula, Tombstone, and Unicorn, and I guess Rhino is possible as well, but Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Scorpion is as well as Chameleon who appeared in Far From Home, all of those are not possible for an actual MCU timeline before Civil War. So it seems like this actually will not be taking place in the MCU and Marvel completely lied to us. Instead, it will be taking place on an alternate universe where Norman Osborn mentored Peter instead of Tony Stark. We even see a shot of Norman Osborn which seems identical to the shot from Civil War where Tony Stark recruits Peter, but with him instead of Tony. Although there are certain changes here that I don't think could have stemmed from that one change of Norman Osborn mentoring Peter instead of Tony, uh, including like Peter's classmates, or maybe like his homemade suit before he met Norman, why would that be different? But anyway, it does seem like this is an alternate universe coming out in 2024, and also season 2 has already been confirmed, it will be called Sophomore Year, and it doesn't as of yet have a release date. Then there's X-Men 97, a continuation of the 1990s X-Men TV show, and they've already hinted at this thing twice in the main MCU with the theme song in Multiverse of Madness and Miss Marvel. But we do see a first look at the show, including a cast of characters with Rogue, Gambit, Wolverine, Beast, Jubilee, Cyclops, Storm, Jean Grey. We also see another picture of a couple of other mutants like Cable, Nightcrawler, Bishop, Sunspot, Morph, one I don't recognize, as well as we later see Magneto being their new leader. We don't see any Professor X anywhere, so I wonder what happened with him. We also see a couple of villains like the Sentinels, Mr. Sinister, Emma Frost, and a few more. And it's been confirmed to come out in 2023. And obviously does not take place in the mainline MCU, it seems like none of these animated shows do honestly, which is I think what they're going for here. I think the animated shows are just produced by Marvel Studios and take place in the Marvel Multiverse, but aren't really a part of the main MCU, they aren't really relevant to uh, the phases and the sagas, but we do see other corners of the multiverse, which I guess is technically relevant because of the saga that we are getting now, which I'll get to when I get to it. But it does seem like anything animated that will be coming from Marvel and Marvel Studios will not be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, instead a part of the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse alone. 
Then there's What If Season 2 with Season 3 already confirmed as well. This will be coming out early 2023, I'm assuming before X-Men 97, and it will include an episode about Hela, an episode about Odin fighting the Mandarin, an episode which is a sequel episode to the first episode of Season 1 which is Captain Carter fighting the Hydra Stomper, as well as an episode that was supposed to come out in Season 1 which is Tony on Sakaar with Hulk and Valkyrie, and also will more focus on Gamora or at least will lead up to Gamora becoming the main hero of that episode as we did see at the end of season 2. That's really all we got from What If Season 2. But actually season 3 has already been confirmed as of now without a release date but I'm assuming 2024 or maybe 2025. Speaking of What If, we have another animated show which is actually a sequel to one of the episodes called Marvel Zombies. There was a question about whether or not this will be actually set in that same universe or maybe like something similar, but no, this will be in the same universe, but it seems like it will be way way better. That episode of What If was one of the more disappointing ones because it was too jokey and they didn't really take the zombie stuff seriously and it wasn't very gory either, but it seems like Marvel Zombies will be taking it in a completely different direction as it's been confirmed that Marvel Zombies will be TVMA, which is basically the TV equivalent of a rated R. It'll be very gory, I'm hoping it'll be very dark and very uh, gloomy and all of those things, a really apocalyptic world that we are seeing here. We do know that it will feature a lot of Phase 4 heroes, and I'm assuming Spider-Man because he was like the last hero that survived at the end of the What If episode, but I am a lot more excited now about the show than I was prior because I thought it was going to be like PG-13 like the original Marvel Zombies episode was, but the fact that it's going to be TVMA means that they could do a lot more with the concept and I'm hoping they go a lot darker and take it a lot more seriously. So that's it for the animated side of things, but let's move on to the mainline Marvel live action movies and TV shows and the new phase and the new saga, which has been confirmed to be called the Multiverse Saga, which started all the way back with WandaVision, but uh, we do see a new trailer for She-Hulk, which features Jennifer breaking the fourth wall, which I don't think we saw in the first trailer, which is something that I'm assuming a lot of people will say that she copied from Deadpool, but no, she actually did it first before Deadpool in the comics. I'm pretty sure she did it before Deadpool was even introduced as a character, but we do see Hulk in the trailer, we see Wong, we see the Abomination, as well as the grand return of Daredevil fully suited up for the first time since Daredevil Season 3, which is honestly the thing that I'm the most hyped about for this show, other than the comedy that can be derived from breaking the fourth wall, because I do like it when characters, specific characters, do break the fourth wall. We also got our first trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, giving us our first look at Namor, Riri Williams, who's going to become Ironheart, and the new Black Panther, and it's been officially confirmed that T'Challa will, in fact, die between Endgame and Wakanda Forever. Now, just to spice in my opinion here a bit, I think that they probably shouldn't have killed off T'Challa, they should have recast him instead. But I will say that this trailer looks fantastic, like it's a great trailer. The visuals that they show in this it look fantastic, it looks so much better than the first Black Panther movie visually. The music is really good, it seems like uh, even though I don't like the idea of them killing off T'Challa, they are using the emotion that could be derived from that very well, that's, that's at least what it seems like from the trailer. It's a really good trailer in my opinion, and I'm a lot more excited for this movie than I was prior to this trailer, because before I wasn't really all that interested, but now I'm actually pretty excited. But let's move on to the newly announced things, everything that's going to be in 2023 and beyond. Now, like I said, the saga has been confirmed to be called the Multiverse Saga, which, if I'm being honest, is exactly what I expected it to be called, so uh, no disappointment from me. But this will include Phases 4, 5, and 6, and lead up to the next Avengers movies coming out in 2025, so it seems like the entire saga will be around 5 years long, which is technically less than half of the amount of years that we got from the Infinity Saga, which was 11. But we're we're getting a lot more content this time around per year, so in these five years we're getting probably like double or even triple the amount of content we got in total in the Infinity Saga, I think even more so. So it's going to be a much longer saga, but it's going to happen over the course of a much shorter amount of time. But it begins with Ant-Man of the Wasp Quantumania on Phase 5, or at least Phase 5 begins with that. It, the whole saga begins with WandaVision 2021. But Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania comes out on February 17th, 2023, kicking off Phase 5. The movie has been confirmed to be about Scott Lang now being famous because he did save the world in Endgame, and writing a book which also pulls him away from his family, but also it delves deep into the quantum realm, and King the Conqueror will be the main villain. Also, MODOK will appear making his live action debut, 
Secret Invasion is coming out in Spring 2023. This is a Disney Plus show featuring Nick Fury as the main character, and it will focus on a scroll invasion where we don't know if people are humans or if they are scrolls. And it will also feature Maria Hill and War Machine. It's also been said that this will be a Winter Soldier type movie where it's going to be very serious, take itself very seriously, and be a spy thriller. The same vibe as the Winter Soldier. So yeah, I am very excited for this. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will come out on May 5th, 2023, and a trailer was actually shown to the people at Comic-Con, but not released online. This movie will be the final movie in the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, and, and, and close the chapter on this group of characters. I don't think we're going to be seeing them a lot more after this, at least not all of them, as I'm assuming a couple of them will die. But we will see the origin story of Rocket, who James Gunn said is the, like, the saddest uh, creature in the universe, and it seems like the High Evolutionary has been confirmed to be the main villain. In summer 2023, we're getting another Disney Plus show called Echo, a spin-off show from Hawkeye, also connecting a lot to the Daredevil Netflix show, with Daredevil and Kingpin both appearing. Matt is just appearing everywhere. He appeared in No Way Home, he, he's appearing in She-Hulk and in Echo, and, well, we'll get to it in a second. Then we have Loki Season 2 in Summer 2023, The Marvels on July 28th, 2023, Blade on November 3rd, 2023, and Ironheart in Fall 2023. Then we also have Agatha Coven of Chaos, renamed from Agatha House of Harkness, which will come out in Winter 2023, leading into the Winter of 2024, which is also a Disney Plus show. Then there's Captain America The New World Order on May 3rd, 2024, and Thunderbolts on July 28th, 2024, which is basically Marvel's Suicide Squad. And potentially the thing that I am most excited for from Phase 5, Daredevil Born Again, an 18 episode long Disney Plus show coming out spring. 2024. This is insane. This is three times the amount of episodes a typical Disney Plus show gets, and that also solves Disney Plus's main problem with their shows, or with the Marvel shows at least. They're just way too short. Now, this is even longer than the Netflix show. It's actually a pretty long season, but I'm assuming each episode will be a bit shorter than the Netflix episode, so in total, it might be just a bit longer than each one of those seasons, so we're just basically getting another season of Daredevil, which is like one of my favorite shows of all time, maybe the best superhero show ever made, so I'm very excited. We also might be getting like a TVMA TV show here, because Marvel Zombies is TVMA, Deadpool 3 will probably be rated R. It seems like Disney is allowing some Marvel properties to go a lot gorier and a lot darker and a lot more mature. So maybe they'll let Daredevil Born Again be just as TVMA as Netflix's Daredevil was. And Kevin Feige said that this is the first season of this show, suggesting that there will be more seasons. Which again, obviously I am super excited about. So that brings us to Phase 6, starting with Fantastic Four in November 2024, although that seems a bit weird to me that they'd start a phase in November instead of having Fantastic Four being the final movie of Phase 5, leading into Phase 6 starting in 2025, which honestly, they might do in the end anyway. It doesn't really matter though, we didn't really get any casting for Fantastic Four, which people did expect, but I'm expecting we're going to be getting that at D23 this year instead, along with a couple other things as well, but what we did get confirmed here is the next two Avengers movies, which are coming out just half a year apart after six years without any Avengers movies. First, there's Avengers The King Dynasty coming out on May 5th, 2025, and Avengers Secret Wars coming out November 8th, 2025. Secret Wars is a big multiversal event, which is basically what the multiverse saga is leading up to. We might see a couple different universes teaming up against some sort of villain. The initial villain of Secret Wars was the Beyonder, but it seems like King the Conqueror might be the final villain of this saga, as the Infinity War uh, equivalent is called the King Dynasty, and then the Endgame equivalent is called Secret Wars. But that's two Avengers movies coming out a mere half a year apart from each other, after, like I said, six years without any Avengers movies at all. But that is it for what we got confirmed. We got nothing about Deadpool 3, nothing about the X-Men movies, no Fantastic Forecasting, no Armor Wars news, no Wonder Man, Nova, Shang-Chi sequel, maybe a third Doctor Strange. We got nothing from any of those things, but Phase 6 does have at least 8 empty slots to fill, so rest assured that probably all of those things will come out at some point, and we still have D23 for any potential reveals. But that is it, everything that Marvel and I guess also DC announced at Comic-Con 2022, but Marvel completely put DC to shame. 
Although technically they've been doing that for like 15 years now at the movies. Uh, but if anybody who's saying that Marvel might be dying down or Phase 4 is not leading to anything, well, obviously now it is. We now see that Marvel is leading to something with its new saga. And I have no Marvel fatigue at all. I'm so excited for everything that Marvel is uh, putting out in the next couple of years. I'm assuming not everything will be perfect, but I just I love this universe and I, I'm so excited for what it is leading up to. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one of these things are you most excited for and which one of these things do you think will be fantastic? Uh, let's be positive here. Let me know your thoughts and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Dibble and bye bye.